Smile and learn. Five things you should know about ancient Greece. The ancient Greek civilization emerged around 1200 BC in a privileged place between the Mediterranean Sea and the Aegean Sea. This territory was made up of a peninsula and a group of islands. Ancient Greeks were settlers. They didn't just conform to staying in their territory. They wanted to look for and colonize new lands to expand their civilization. Ancient Greeks were excellent sailors and they reached many parts of the Mediterranean Sea, extending their commercial activity and craftsmanship trade. Ancient Greeks called their cities poleis, and each one of them had its own government. Poleis were very well organized. There was an agora in every one of them, which was the main public place, an acropolis, which was the highest part of the polis, a theater where ancient Greeks held events like comedy or tragedy plays, walls to defend the city and the Parthenon, the temple where they worshiped their gods. Sparta and Athens were two of the most famous and powerful polis. There were occasional fights among the cities and these would then declare war in order to expand their territory and gain more power. Ancient Greek society was divided into two groups, free citizens and non-citizens. Free citizens were men born in polis and made the most important decisions. Non-citizens were the women, the foreigners, and the slaves who never enjoyed their fundamental rights. Ancient Greeks established a government regime called democracy. That allowed only free citizens to make decisions by means of voting. Ancient Greeks were a polytheistic society. This means that they worshipped many gods. Have you ever heard of Ares, the god of war? How about Poseidon, the sea god? I'm sure you know that Zeus was the father of all the gods. Ancient Greek mythology emerged in this civilization. It's a collection of stories and legends about gods and heroes. Ancient Greeks made up these stories to explain to people the origins of the world and transmit their values. Do you know the story of Hercules? He was the son of Zeus, a superhero, half god, half human. His powers were out of this world. Ancient Greeks were incredibly curious and took great interest in learning about everything around them, be it nature or human beings themselves. This is how the discipline of philosophy emerges, a word that in Greek is translated as love of wisdom. Some of the most well-known philosophers were Plato or Aristotle. There were also important mathematicians during this period, like Pythagoras or Archimedes, who intended to apply geometry principles in building and explain the meaning of numbers in people's everyday lives. Their interest for intelligence and knowledge helped the ancient Greek civilization expand around the Mediterranean Sea. The Olympic Games originated in ancient Greece. Isn't it incredible they managed to survive till modern times? In the old times, the Olympic Games were held every four years in Olympia. The best athletes who came from several different parts of Greece competed in the games. They participated in sports like jumping, disc throw, or running. Back then, athletes were competing for an olive wreath, not for medals. Many of the ancient Olympic values like teamwork, discipline, and effort still remain up to this day. The ancient Greek civilization came to an end in 146 BC, but the ancient Greek legacy is still present today in politics, culture, philosophy, or even sports. These are the five things you should know about ancient Greece. Did you like learning about them? Five things you should know about the Roman Empire. Rome was founded more than 2,800 years ago on the banks of the Tiber as several tribes came together in the land that is now the country of Italy. Legend has it that the founders of Rome were two twin brothers, Romulus and Remus, who were raised by a wolf. In the beginning, Rome was a monarchy ruled by kings. 
Later on, the Romans established another government regime called the Republic. There is no king in a republic, so politicians were the ones who made all the decisions coming to agreements. Back then, Rome was expanding and conquered a large part of Italy and the Mediterranean Sea. Centuries later, the government of the Republic faced a crisis and a new era was initiated known as the Roman Empire. All the power belonged to the Emperor, who was counseled by the Senate. Ancient Rome was a civilization of great significance in antiquity that expanded through the territories surrounding the Mediterranean Sea from east to west, Britannia, Hispania, France, Greece, Northern Africa, and Syria. The Roman army was in charge of conquering new lands and keeping the peace within the empire. The Roman army was made up of legions, and these were formed by thousands of soldiers called legionnaires. Their coat of arms was the eagle, which I'm sure you've seen before. Legionnaires were very well trained and underwent military training. The Romans were great at strategic thinking and managed to build a whole empire. The Roman society was divided in several groups. The patricians were the most powerful group. They belonged to nobility, and they were politicians or soldiers. The plebeians made up the working class, or mob. They were craftsmen, peasants, and workers. Slaves had no rights at all and were considered to be property of the empire. Ancient Rome was a polytheistic society. This means that Romans worshipped many gods like Minerva, for example, who was the goddess of wisdom, Neptune, the sea god, Mars, the god of war, or Venus, the goddess of love. Roman cities were walled and the streets were paved. Romans were excellent at urban planning and architecture. They built bridges to be able to cross over rivers, a road system to connect cities, and the famous aqueducts to transport water. They also created buildings like circuses or amphitheaters to stage various forms of entertainment, like chariot racing or gladiator fights. But there was more to Roman entertainment than that. They also built theaters where they represented events like plays from ancient Greece. They built schools, too, to educate children. Towards the end of the 4th century AD, neighboring Germanic tribes started to invade Roman territories. This resulted in a huge crisis that divided the empire in two. The Western Roman Empire, whose capital was Rome, and the Eastern Roman Empire, or Byzantium. This way, governing such a vast territory would be much easier. The Eastern Roman Empire lasted till 1453, while the Western Roman Empire slowly dissolved until it disappeared in 476. The Middle Ages started right after the fall of the Roman Empire. Thousands of years later, the history of Rome is still present in the organization of our cities, politics, culture, or art. Another very important contribution of the Romans was the Roman civil law system. Many of their laws and ways to understand society still remain till now. These are the five things you should know about the Roman Empire. Did you like learning about them? We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.